Hey everyone, this is Rowdy's Blog, and welcome to my TV episode review series. Today's TV episode review is going to be on the Arrow um, Season 3 opener, The Calm. Now, I've actually been watching Arrow for a while now, but I wasn't able to do um, weekly TV episode reviews of Arrow because when, uh, at the time, Arrow Season 2 came out, I had bad internet connection. I was only able to, um, like, post up videos every, uh, the week after and only on Mondays at the time. But now that my internet ser service is a little better now, I'm able to post up videos, like, every day if I want to. So um, now I'm definitely going to be reviewing Arrow for the rest of the season, hopefully. And and so you can check out my Arrow reviews every Thursday um, uh, and then every Friday when Constantine um, premieres. So let's get started with this episode. What this episode is about, and there seems to be a lot that's happening in this episode, is it starts off with Oliver finally getting a relationship with Felicity. Um, it appears like they have a relationship upgrade um, since the last season. And um, Oliver tries to ask Felicity out on a date at the beginning of the episode. But then um, this new um, threat called the Vertigo ends up threatening Oliver and he ends up hurting Felicity by blowing up the um, restaurant that Oliver and Felicity were in. And so um, you start to see the relationship develop between Oliver and Felicity in this episode. And meanwhile, Diggle has, um, Diggle's um, ex-wife ends up having a baby and Oliver ends up getting in an argument with Diggle about this because um, he doesn't want Diggle to get hurt because now he's becoming a father and Diggle's trying to tell Oliver, you know, I could still fight for you because, you know, we're a team and everything. But Oliver's like, no, you shouldn't um, fight when you're about to become a father. And then we get, um, we also see Rory working with the team in this episode. And um, we also get the flashbacks of Oliver being a Hong Kong and um, how it involves Amanda Waller trying to recruit Oliver. So um, that's pretty much the gist of what happened in this episode so far. <clears throat> it like um, establishes more of Oliver and Felicity's relationship with each other. Um, it also shows the um, first tension between Diggle and Oliver regarding Diggle becoming a father. Oliver doesn't want Diggle to get hurt. And we got this new villain called the Vertigo who's like threatening Oliver and his friends. So, my thoughts on this episode. Well, here's some positive things about this episode. <clears throat> um, I like the fact that um, we're able to see more of the relationships develop between these characters. And you can see that um, things are starting to become a lot easier for these characters. Hence why the episode is called The Calm. This is like right after season two and every bad thing was happening in season two. Um, so, this episode is like um, taken after season two. And everybody is trying to <clears throat> relax now that... Um, not a lot of crime is going on in the city. And um, we started to see the relationship develop between Oliver and Felicity, which has probably been building up for the past two seasons. And it's finally hit its point here where they're in a relationship upgrade. And um, we also start seeing the relationship between Oliver and Diggle and how um, Oliver is, is only like really concerned about Diggle's, Diggle's health because he doesn't want um Diggle to get hurt now that he's about to become a father. So I I did enjoy seeing that tension between Diggle and Oliver and um how Oliver was so worried about Diggle while Diggle's like trying to tell Oliver you know I'm I, I'm still fight for you you know no matter what even if I become a father and um. It was interesting seeing Laurel and Sarah in this episode also, and I like how they're starting to bond with each other. So um, that was something I really enjoyed in, um, in this episode, the relationships developing between the characters and um, how, how they act if, when um, things are calmed down in the city. And there were some so shocking twists in this episode. Like, one of the most shocking twists in this episode was, like, the ending. I'm not going to spoil the ending for you because it's really, really shocking. But, um... I can't believe they did all that at the ending. Um, you, you know, kill someone at the ending. Um, uh, I'm not gonna tell you who gets killed at the end, but it's pretty major. Um, but I wonder how the show, what direction the show will be taken after that um incident had happened. So I can't wait to see what's gonna happen after all of that. But I was really shocked by the ending, and you know, I didn't expect any of that to come at all so now it makes me wonder you know what's going to happen with these characters after this incident um gets out in the open so i like to see what's going to become with that um i guess some um, negative things about this episode um 
Well, I don't really, um, I didn't really, um, hate this episode or I don't really have anything against this episode, but you know, it's more like, um, uh, my, um, <clears throat> my concerns about what's going to happen um, with the characters after this episode. Um, y'all yeah, will admit with the Oliver Felicity relationship, I am a little weary about it only because in the past two seasons, Oliver was dating both Laurel and Sarah and, you know, notice how those relationships went downhill. So I'm hoping that Oliver finds somebody to get in a relationship with and is actually happy for once. That's what I'm really hoping. I could care less um who he hooks up with at this point, as long as he's happy. So I, I hope that's what's going to happen. You know, don't, kill off another of Oliver's love interest so don't put Oliver through this another soap opera thing that's probably why I gave up soap operas for a long time because of the whole relationship turmoil going on with characters I'm hoping that Oliver you know gets in a steady relationship with somebody this season or you know just be happy for once but I bet you there's going to be a lot of turmoil this season, so we're going to have to go through Oliver, um, going through some serious turmoil during this season. But I'm just hoping at least Oliver gets in a happy relationship or something by the end of the show, the um, end of this series soon. So that's just a big concern I have about, you know, um, the whole Arrow series as a whole. You know, just hoping that Oliver's happy and he does again in another um, um, dead end relationship again. Um, so overall, I give this episode a thumbs up. Um, I really enjoyed this episode. I like the um, relationships that was being established between all the characters. And um, I can't wait to see what else is going to happen in the third season of Arrow and where um, Oliver is going to go at this point. So now I'm going to start off with um, talking about the top episode of the week. Now, I actually meant to be, I meant to um, do this like for the past two weeks, but because I just got Hulu this week, um, and, you know, I didn't start developing the whole top episode of the week thing until just now. Um, now I'm going to talk about what is my top episode for this week of all the shows I was watching for this week. So my top episode for this week is The Flash Pilot. Um, that was probably my most favorite episode of this entire week. Um, I really loved how lighthearted, um, the Flash unif universe is from the Arrow universe. Um, this pilot really got me stoked from the, um, next few episodes of, um, of the Flash. So I definitely can't wait to see what's going to happen in the Flash in the next season. So I think the pilot episode was the best episode I've seen for this week. So the Flash pilot is my, um, top episode for this week. Well, that's my review on Arrow and be sure to, um, Follow me on Twitter so you can keep up with any new videos I um, post up. And also, I'll be posting up every TV episode review every Thursday. And I will stop posting them every Friday once Constantine um, premieres. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Rowdy's Vlog, and I'll see you later. <laughs>